world. What is up? Welcome to Build. I'm your host, Matt Forte. And yes, indeed, we are live once again at the Build Studio in New York City. Now, I know a lot of people are off from school this week. So if you're watching us live right now and are a massive Andy Mack fan, I got some really good news for you. Yes, you. We'll be keeping an eye out for questions from you guys. That's right. All the way over there, wherever you are right now watching us live, you can be a part of this show. So do me a favor. If you're watching on our site, press the button, says submit a question, or hit us up on Twitter at BuildSeriesNYC. Now, we got a ton of fans. Watch this, watch this. Make some noise, Andy Mack fans. <laughs> I went deaf. You see that? We got so many fans here. So we're going to try to take as many questions as we can. Uh, cross your fingers and hope for the best. Now, uh, speaking of the best, that's exactly who we got coming up here in a second. Uh, Disney Channel's Andy Mack is one of those shows people are going crazy over and really connecting with. It's no mystery why. The show effortlessly tackles real families, real people overcoming real world hurdles without ever losing sight of its optimistic message. And this Friday, all of that really gets a chance to shine through in a special one hour episode titled Cyrus's Bash Mitzvah. Now, from the authentic portrayal of Cyrus's Bar Mitzvah to Andy's emotional journey, this is an episode that beautifully depicts the series' commitment to relevant and navigational storytelling. And it's got some laughs in there, too, man. It's a good episode, all right? So as you can imagine, I'm really excited. It sounds like you're really excited as well, but I'm going to test that in a second because I don't know if you realize this, but Peyton Lee is here, Leland Bowden is here, Joshua Rush is here, Sophia Wiley is here. How about that, guys? That's exciting, right? <laughs> Oh, man, oh, I'm glad. I'm excited, too. Look, we're going to bring him out in a second. But before we do any of that, I believe we got a clip. We got a sneak peek at an upcoming episode. So, Luke, do me a favor. Let's go ahead and run that clip. Hey, who's that guy dancing with Andy? Oh, that's, uh, no idea. Do you know who that is? No? Who is he? I'm asking you. Oh, is he famous? I've seen him before. Probably this party. He's jealous. For the first time ever, probably. Welcome to the world of normal human emotions. Did you ever think this was possible? What? That Andy would be breaking Jonah's heart? My little girl's growing up. Uh, guys, no need to contain yourself. Make some noise. The cast of Andy Mack is here. Hey, Neil, Dash, and Sophia, they're all here. Oh, that was a, you ever get tired of that? No, right? No, no. not even How in the slightest. You? How could you? Oh, my goodness. Congratulations. We're, we had a pretty big announcement this week. We'll get to that in a second. But just in general... Congratulations on a fantastic thank show. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, absolutely. And uh, thank you guys for taking some time to come and hang out with us. Before we jump into everything, how's uh, how's New York been treating you so far? How's this oh, week? Amazing. Been? Yeah. We're having great. The best it's been so time. fun. We love it yeah, here. It's been a lot of fun. Um, you guys, you film, I believe, in Utah, correct? You do the show there? Yes, we Some do. of you, all of you, California, West Coast based, some a little bit. California, 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 California. Cali, Arizona. Yeah, Arizona. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so New York. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so New York is, is fun, it's special, it's exciting to be here together. It's not something you get to do every week, right? Exactly. Absolutely. Did you make any big New York stops? Any fun things to do in the city? No, you haven't had time. Yeah. Many yeah, restaurants. Yeah. My so favorite much part food. of New York is food. all the different food here, so I love it. <laughs> A lot of food. The food has been great. The food has been great. <laughs> you guys wrapped up season two how, how not too long ago, right? Like three days ago. Three days ago. <laughs> so there wasn't a big gap. You've been hanging out. It's been a nonstop party, pretty much. Exactly. Every day with these guys is a nonstop party. Basically. Aww. Aww. Thank I love you. them. So sweet. All right, well, let's talk about it. Then there was a pretty big announcement. You guys got some great news this week. Mm -hmm. Season We got three season, season three! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited, I can't even say it. Yeah. <laughs> three, three season three. Three, yeah. three, yeah. three. Yeah. three. We got it. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. so, so very exciting. Uh, talk about, because uh, to my understanding, you got that news in a somewhat unconventional way. You were told on live television, right? Yeah, in front yeah. of five million people. It was wild. Good Morning America. Mm. You were on Good Morning America, and they yeah. decided to let you know in that moment in time, guess what? You still, you're going to keep working. you got to get back to work after this. You can we can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> Excited. We're like, how soon can we go back? That's pretty amazing. What, what was going through your head when they were telling you? You're, you're on camera, you're live, you're trying to maintain, you're a professional after all. This is live television. It's so funny watching the pictures that came out after 
of like the screenshots because we're all like, yeah. yeah, sitting very properly and we're trying to, you know, have great posture. My, like, I'm trying to have great posture. And then we hear the news and then you just see us go like, yeah. <laughs> like our, yeah. our, like our Everything goes out the window. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Well, I mean, that that's kind of indicative of not just uh, the, the kind of fun you guys are having all the time, but the kind of fun you have making this show, right? It looks like, I feel like it comes through. For all the things that you guys do, it looks like you're having a blast, especially this upcoming episode, which we'll get to, but it looks like you're having a lot of fun making this show. We are. Yes. Yes. We're all family, and so it's it's really easy to be goofy and have fun with your family, so I'm really lucky to shoot this show with these guys. Josh, what would you agree? I would completely agree. I think <laughs> if, it, if it wasn't enough that we spend basically every waking moment together, we wake up and like go to our 7 a.m. call time and we hang out all day, but we Dinner spend night. every night together pretty much. Yeah. We finish working for like 10 and a half hours and the first thing that one of us will say to each other after we wrap where is, do you eat? where are we going to dinner? <laughs> I'm noticing food, a very important part of this process. Well, I mean, yeah, you've got to feel your body. to stay alive. <laughs> okay, what's... That's absolutely true, Peggy. Right, without food, <laughs> this doesn't work as well. Scientists have proven that. Yeah. Um, what's a go-to meal, then? End of the day, very tired. Let's run down. I want to start right oh. here. I'm going to make you think first. Yeah, one of our favorite places is a Vietnamese restaurant that we love, say. and it has um, pho, which are Vietnamese noodles. And it makes the best creme brulee. As True. well. It's, it's yeah. kind of random. Huh. Really good, though. Yeah. So that's a universal response. We're all on board. Yeah, yeah it's the Vietnamese place. Season one, though, it was Chipotle. Chipotle. Every, Chipotle. Day. Every, Every day. single day. <laughs> Lunch and dinner. We were all like, oh, you want to go to Chipotle? Like, we've never been there before, but we've been there for the past week. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So I had to dip think... out eventually. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, you got to tap out. Yeah. yeah. What was intense? So, okay, season one, we, we remember most for Chipotle. Season two sounds like this Vietnamese place. Mm -hmm. What's on the menu for season three? What are we thinking, guys? I'm Have thinking we brainstormed like yet? Have we? Italian? Nice. I nice. Can eat every day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Got to carb up. Yes, the energy a lot of carbs. up, for yeah. sure. Yeah. 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 I'll lose my Living summer bod. Healthy lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> that Hollywood life. Yeah. All right, let's, let's talk about something, though. Let's get into the show for a second. I wrote down a couple of things I thought were fascinating here that I didn't realize until I was doing the research. But this is Disney Channel. It's first. Asian American family, uh, yeah. all right? First, yep. <laughs> First LGBTQ storyline. Yeah. And Lena, you know, a young mom trying to figure out motherhood, unplanned pregnancy, all of these heavy things. This is an, a, a landmark series. It's, it's no wonder everybody's really, really connected with and into this show. It's very much representative of where we are today I in this time. Does it feel, when you're making it, does it feel like you're doing something that hasn't been done for, uh, before? Does it feel special? Does it feel different, this kind of story that you're telling? Yeah. I think, yeah. to a certain extent, we know how special it is and how unique it is. And in another, in another way, it feels like it's just like, this is what we do every day. We have so much fun. And we don't really understand the full impact of the story. Yeah. Yeah. What's really great is experiences like this because we're in Utah and we're shooting every day and, and so uh, we're kind of in this bubble, you know, we just see each other mostly and nobody else yeah. <laughs> and all the time. Going and, crazy, you guys. And, and so it means a lot for us to be here right now and it means a lot to be interacting with our fans because we really get to experience, oh, this story has a life outside of this bubble that we're working in. Yeah. The second I heard uh, that Bex was actually Andy's mother my jaw dropped I on the like, floor for real serious yeah. I, and i was like even if i wasn't a part of the show i'm gonna watch it of course yeah. like <laughs> yeah exactly uh so i knew it was going to be something special and i knew i was going to make friends and family for life here I, I knew the moment that I that I read that Cyrus was gonna have this LGBT storyline, he's gay. The minute that I had that, I went, is this really like a Disney show? This is crazy. <laughs> I was so excited and it was it was just it was totally a draw jaw drop moment. I think we've all had a lot of those moments and I think we're all super proud to be able to yeah. have those moments and kind of be that guinea pig sometimes. Well, let's talk about that for a second. So you find out you're gonna have this storyline, Josh. Are you at all nervous? What kind of preparation are you doing? Obviously it's amazing, but you also feel a sense of responsibility now to tell this story. Yeah, I mean, Sophia and I, we, we knew that it was gonna be, uh, I knew that it was gonna be Sophia's character that my character comes out to and I knew immediately when I did that, I wanted to make sure that this was as serious and we, we made it as as good as we possibly could. Yeah. So I immediately started preparing and Sophia and I live in the same apartment building. So the night before uh, the night before that episode came out, it was it was a late night and we hung out together 
uh, that whole night, and we just not that whole night, but like for a few hours, yeah. and we just prepared. Got enough sleep. Yeah. <laughs> we got enough sleep. Yeah, it, and we just bonded and talked and went over the scene, and we said what the scene means to us, and it it was a really good bonding moment for Josh and I and our friendship yep. because we got to learn more about each other in so many different ways, um, and so I think this scene for everyone in the world really brings everyone together and shows that we're all amazing in our own way. Yeah. That. <laughs> that. Yeah. Ditto. I, <laughs> what she said. Exactly. I second that. Well, you know, for, for all the talk about, like, we're, we're telling these really important stories, you guys are having a ton of fun, there are some really, like, emotional and, and, and really, like, tear tear-dropping moments where, like, you're like, oh, man, I can't, like, for example, your mom coming back, right? Like, that was a huge oh. moment. <laughs> it was, yeah, you want to talk jaw-dropping. Yeah. Uh, I believe, what was, uh, Jay, I want to say, who plays the coach? Yeah, so Jay, who plays the coach, mm -hmm. uh, actually a veteran. Did you talk to him at all? Uh, he's talked about how that was moving for him in the moment, watching that scene. Talk about preparing for that moment. Um, preparing for that, uh, I I wanted to give justice to all the kids who have a military mom or dad or sister or brother or whoever, um, and I wanted to make people feel something through the screen. That's always been my passion, to make someone feel something, whether it's happy or sad or angry or goofy, whatever it is. And uh, I was really lucky to have Sienna by my side, who plays my mom on the show, and uh, I, I my, my dad was uh, in the, he wasn't in the military, but my grandpa was. So he got to talk to me kind of how his experience was, and I got to pull from that, which was really amazing. And uh, I absolutely loved shooting that scene, and it was one of my favorite scenes uh, throughout the season. Yeah, it's a beautiful moment for Thank sure. You. And, uh, you know, Peyton... Uh, Andy, right? <laughs> <laughs> you're you're navigating this world. You have some of the the most jaw dropping moments. Of course, we find out about your relationship with your mom and everything. Uh, talk about uh, season two and how it was different for you than season one. Yeah, I think from season one to season two, every single character begins to evolve, and you see this growth in their personalities. And I feel like Andy especially starts to find her voice. And in season one, a big part of her life is Jonah Beck. And um, for her, he is just what she's always wanted. And I think in season two, you start to see more that she's realizing who she is and that she doesn't need someone else to make her feel full and worth it. Um, but I think all the characters evolve so much from season one to season two, and they start to find their voice and grow into the person that they're destined to become. For sure. What was, what, what was the most challenging thing, I think, for you this season, too? Mm, this season? Huh. Come on. The most thing. challenging thing yeah. for me was waking up every day at six. Uh, <laughs> Agree. And, and like, I, Agree. I, I live in California normally, and so like this snow thing is like so new, <laughs> and so I'm like out there with the ice scraper on the car. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> By far the most yeah. challenging. Definitely. Thing. And I think also being away from our families yes. has been hard, but it's also brought us all closer together. Mm -hmm. And I think in ways it's been not only a curse, but a blessing mm -hmm. that we've sort of been alone, but then because of being alone together, we've come closer. <laughs> <laughs> that was a tongue twister. Yeah. But alone together, you guys. Yeah. Alone together. About how long are you guys alone together? How long does it take to make one? Eight months. Eight months. Yeah. Wow. Yes. We shoot a season in eight months. That's like yeah. a lot of summer camps back to oh, back. Oh, yeah. yeah that is. A lot of <laughs> That's what it feels off. like sometimes. It's <laughs> like a vigorous <laughs> no, summer camp. Yeah, yeah. It, you know I mean? it really does feel like a big summer camp. You know, a lot of us are coming uh, from different places, and the uh, Utah crew have known each other forever, and so it really feels like we're all in this together, and we're we're the team, and we're doing it, and and it has that summer camp feeling to it. For sure. Yeah. Well, then I want to ask you: uh, you have a, a pretty storied background at UCB. Yeah. You got a lot of experience yeah. over there, for sure. <laughs> and I'm very curious, especially working with these three. I love to talk about it, yeah. so they're laughing at me now. <laughs> Well, I, I'm very curious about, because I don't know how much improv factors into these shows, but like if there is something, a tool from that tool set that you found yourself kind of leaning on or using working on this show. 
I think improv's helped me so much, and just my acting career in general. And then this show, it's just so great because there are opportunities to uh, like throw something out that feels more inspired. And, and sometimes the writers will take that and run with that. Uh, the line, hey, who wants pizza, was a line I improvised <laughs> that I don't even remember <laughs> improvising. I think I was just having fun. And so, and uh, Terry Minsky, the creator, really liked that line. And the next draft of the script came out, and it was in the script. And then it became like a running joke. Yeah. So, so improv is so valuable. It could become yeah. very permanent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Leilan's so good at just like adding things to the end that make the scene just all come together. She's so good at buttons. And I think <laughs> by so think, good, they mean I won't not add right. something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the director comes in, Leilan, th that's not a line. <laughs> Leilan, no. Leilan, stop, no. Don't no, but, take but like honestly, it's written. I think Leilan really brings this fun energy to the set because she's so loose and like can flow very easily with, with the script. I am like pretty, you know. <laughs> pretty loose. I'm I would say enough. some. Some of my favorite parts of the show and moments are when we all get to improv with each other. When the director says, have fun with it. We're like, okay, you yeah, asked so for like, it. You <laughs> said, okay. Famous okay. last words. Get what you want. So yeah. that's funny. So that has become sort of a, a part of the process is you guys do get an opportunity to just kind of go nuts and just sort of live in the scene for a little yeah, bit. Definitely. And we have an amazing creator, Terry Minsky, who so great. when she's around us, she's always observing and seeing how we say things and how we feel about things. So our characters have a pretty similar point of view and perspective yeah. to us as humans. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the other thing too, is this doesn't happen very often, but you guys are relatively, if not the exact age of your characters. You're pretty close, right? If yeah. not the same. Yeah. I am 16, <laughs> Cyrus is 13. I said close. There is a difference. And that, my friend, is the definition of close, but I do appreciate you highlighting how not close. That's three years. That's There's three a difference between years. an infant yeah, and a toddler. Three whole years. Whoa, Joshy boy. You know what? You wanna know something? When I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You're not close. You are well beyond the age of your character. When but that does beg a question. <laughs> Joshua, if you could look all the way back three years ago, do you have a lot of memories of uh, bar mitzvahs, of, of going, bat mitzvahs, bar mitzvahs, going to them, having any, any such thing? I mean, having my own was definitely a pretty cool Sticks memory with of a bar mitzvah. You, right? I uh, had my bar mitzvah in Israel, which was an incredible experience, but I, and we, we, modeled our bar mitzvah episode as much as we possibly could after the uh, after my own bar mitzvah. So I, I read the same Torah portion that I do in my real bar mitzvah. No um, my aunt is actually in the show, as is my mother. My mom is playing my stepmother <laughs> in the show, which is a cool little behind the scenes tidbit that she just gassed at. Um, but there, there's all sorts of like little fun tidbits um, that we tried to do to make it as like legitimate as possible. And at my bar mitzvah in Israel, I never got to like have a real crazy outlandish party uh, like you hear about and like I've been to plenty of times. But uh, yeah, this bar mitzvah episode definitely satisfied that. I never got to do the chair dance, the hora, but I got to do it this time, so it was fun. I remember when, um, when Josh first came in to read for Cyrus, he had just had his bar mitzvah. And all he was talking about was him screening it for his, El for his California family. Remember you did like a video? No, I did a live stream. We yeah, did the bar mitzvah stream. at like 5 p.m. That was all PM. I heard about. That it was, was the weirdest I... time for a bar mitzvah uh, in Israel. So we, we did it at a weird time so that we could live stream it to our family back in the States because not everyone could come. That's both really sweet and kind of amazing. How many people <laughs> tuned in? I think we got like... 50, but it was, was wow. It? Oh my, was For a bar my live stream's got a couple yeah. more viewers now. There's yeah. a couple more watching right now, I, I assure you, but those aren't bad numbers for a bar mitzvah, li bar mitzvah live stream. That's hard to say. Uh, bar mitzvah live stream, I think, is what was about <laughs> to happen. Like a soup. Mm, I could go for some bar mitzvah. <laughs> you want some bar mitzvah? Sounds delicious. Uh, all right, without giving anything away, so this is a challenge, tell me something you're really excited about for the episode without spoiling it that's coming up Ooh. this weekend. Ooh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Sorry, um, I didn't tough mean one. to do that so loud. Oh my God. <laughs> um, There's a dance sequence. Okay. Yes. That's all I'll say. It, that's in the promo, so it, it's so really not game. giving anything away. Oh, that's true. That's true. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. It's in the promo. Um, I, I would say I think I'm just excited for everyone to be up and having fun with our characters because yeah. there's sad parts to this episode, there are fun parts, and uh, and I think everyone's going to have all the feels in this one, yeah. so I'm excited for that. Lauren Tom, who plays Cece, uh, and I have a very fun, adorable scene that was exhausting to shoot, <laughs> uh, and I can't wait for people to see it. Yeah. I think for me, the most exciting part of this episode is 
you get a lot of your questions answered, but then you also gain a lot more questions. <laughs> and it's a Eyebrows little raised. It's, right, it's, okay. it's packed with information and it's so seamless. Like it doesn't seem like there's as much in it as there really is because of the brilliance of the writing. So I'm just excited to see what people have to say. Well, on that note, in, in the spirit of seeing what people have to say, we're going to turn it over to the audience in just a second. Ooh. Thank you for that perfect segue. Ooh. It's beautiful. It's as if you Look do this that profession. transition. <laughs> uh, the last thing I'll say before we turn it over, guys, is if I need to tell you, but uh, Andy Mack, brand new episode, Friday, February 23rd, 8 p.m. Eastern, Woo. Pacific on the Woo. Disney Channel. On you know Disney. that. Like you know that. Bing, bing, but tell your friends that, all right? We got some microphones in the room. Where's our first question coming from? Right here? Hey, guys. So um, since season three has been announced, what type of storylines are you guys most excited to explore? Floor next season. Ooh. Ooh. I've already told Terry Minsky most of my ideas. Most of them are terrible ideas, but I've already told her most of my ideas. So I don't know if I can, I can, I can't really release them because the bar mitzvah. She's episode, definitely using them. The bar mitzvah <laughs> episode was my idea. The bar mitzvah was my idea, and the result of a season and a half of nagging from like the day that I got the part. I, the first thing that I told Terry was so. When is Cyrus's bar mitzvah? So all of Josh's ideas we'll see in season four because those yeah. are a little bit of nagging to get to. <laughs> uh, I'm just excited to see like what happens. Like I don't know, and I don't think any of us really know what's going to happen. Um, but you see so much growth from season one to season two, and I can only imagine where life is going to take these characters. I like to not know. <laughs> I'm personally excited to just okay, Bex. let the magic happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, Not I, even reading before you get to set, huh? Let Here's the just... universe take it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, our characters don't necessarily know exactly what's going to happen in their future because, I mean, we don't either. Uh, so I think it's great that we kind of get to experience and uh, get surprised throughout each episode and what's going to happen in their lives, in our lives. Is this the one that you drank out of? No. Okay. <laughs> I told you this one. Cool, okay. got it, got it, got it. <laughs> We have somebody come and switch them when you're not looking, so it could oh. very well be. It could be. Nice. <laughs> Legit. Build mine, so it's okay, but just good. a little bit. We've got people full <laughs> on knocked over. You did pretty well. Knock it over. No, you did pretty well. Like something Josh, I, I got to ask you, uh, of the yeah, ideas you. that you were saying that you've pitched, you said even uh, all of them are terrible. Do you, one, are you ever surprised you pitch something you think is terrible and then they end up loving and they're like, oh, that's a great one, actually. No, because they're usually incredibly bad. It's generally things, it's generally things that I have come up with that are in the show beyond the Bar Mitzvah episode. It's yeah. only like things happened that I've by accident said or happened by accident. So we were at a crew dinner. Uh, I was just about to I was just going to tell this story. In front of a million Disney executives. Executives, and I'm I had to go to the bathroom, so I'm just like walking by and I run into a glass wall. I don't know if you guys have watched an episode or two of Andy Mac, but uh, that happens in and the show. Like, it's in the script. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Brilliant. It's brilliant. Walking awesome. comedy right. show. So that's something to look forward to in season three. A lot more of you walking into things. Yeah. We got at least one vote. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's take some more questions. The next one's going to come from, looks like, right here. You guys film a lot of emotionally, like, draining scenes. What are some of the more physically draining scenes that you've had to film? Physically? Ooh. Cyrus doesn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Watch into that glass wall. <laughs> oh, there's that. Wow. There's that. Lilan, Lilan and I had a dance scene recently. <gasps> yes. Oh, yeah. That, that, was, that, was, that was super fun, but yeah. we were pretty tired after that. Uh, yeah, are you talking about the one with uh, me, you, and Lauren? Yeah. Oh, that was so much fun. I was yeah. nervous because I don't dance. Uh, and <laughs> don't dance. <laughs> but everybody else could, so I'm like, I can't be the weirdo. That's not. So that dance sequence, um, uh, I practiced all night <laughs> just to feel like a normal person in it. <laughs> Your downstairs neighbors love you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, uh, Buffy does a lot of athletic things in the show, uh, but one of the things I got to do with uh, Josh and Peyton as well was we had a scene in season one, and we were doing uh, Capture the Flag, yes, oh, and oh. I got to knock them over multiple times onto a mat and I was so scared because I was scared of my own strength. I didn't want to like kill them or anything. Uh, and even though there was a mat, of course, I didn't want to like, you know, hook them all the way across the field. It was but, fine. I only you know, bruised for like two days. Couldn't do that. Oh. 
<laughs> Sorry, boy. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I love <laughs> but yeah, that was so much fun. I love doing little stunt things with them. And that really challenges, I feel like, your acting when you have to act as well as do these physically enduring things. Oh, yes. There's a scene that's in the Bash Mitzvah where I'm doing two things at once, and it was the hardest. I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm talking and I'm playing a game, and it's just, it, I just... <laughs> I was very much impressed when I saw that. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, no, that was really impressive stuff. You guys, you'll know you. exactly when you see it. Um, we have time for how many? One more? All right, we're going to do one more. It looks like it's you. You have the microphone. No What's pressure. What's your favorite episode that you filmed? She Easy. It. That was perfect. Um, Good job. It's, it's, oh, actually, I guess it's, well, um... Wow, I said it was easy. It's not easy. You want me to go first? Yeah, I, I can answer. Okay. Um, my favorite episode is uh, the first episode of season two. Uh, there's so much in it. I, I refuse a proposal. <laughs> uh, or I, st I stall a proposal. <laughs> um, and I just love watching the, the scene where Cyrus comes out. Um, I haven't watched it yet without crying. And I've watched it multiple times. And I mean that literally. So it's, yeah, it's my favorite episode. I actually have to say, I think the bar mitzvah is my favorite episode. Same. This is my I mean, conundrum here. It's, 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 do, it's, I go with, uh, do I go with Lilan or do I go with Peyton? Yeah. It's a beautiful one hour episode and there's, you see some more of our talents. You see more layers of every single character. There are some new characters introduced. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot that happens. And I just feel like it comes together so well and seamlessly. And the writing is so brilliant. I just... It, it definitely yeah. takes the cake for me. Yeah, I I agree with that so much. I love both of those episodes that you guys just said. Uh, but one of them, I love the season finale for season two, which you guys have not seen yet, of course. And that won't be out for a while. But uh, when I was reading the script for the table read, I was just like jaw drop the whole time. He was time. voguing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was voguing, no. Uh, it was just so amazing to see everyone interact. And uh, I mean, of course, there's an amazing cliffhanger. And I'm just excited for all of you guys who are slapping your heads right now <laughs> uh, to uh, be able to see season three and what comes of that. Well, thank goodness you got the season three, if that's the I know, thing. right? Yeah. yeah, we're super excited. Well, now, everything you said about this next episode, though, is absolutely true. There's, there's so many fun things to look forward to, so many new things, so many questions answered, so many new ones raised. It very much justifies the, the hour-long episode, and, and you guys are going to love it, I'm telling you right now. You don't need me to tell you that, but I'm letting you know. Don't worry. You, you will gonna, love it, you, you guys. You, you are going to love it. Love it. <laughs> that is a promise. Uh, for, for those that somehow still don't know, I'll tell you one last time. Uh, Friday, February 23rd at 8 p.m. Eastern Pacific on What Else? The Disney Channel. Guys, Woo! do me a favor. We could do this all day, but we got to say, Goodbye. Put your hands together. Make some noise. The cast of Andy Mac.